I think that the best thing that you can do financially that most people don't do, or most people don't know how to do, is create a budget. Because when you create a budget in your life, you know where your money is going, you know if you're living above your means, you can take action to change, and you can set financial goals. And so in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I budget my own money. And if you follow along and implement this strategy in your own life, I can almost guarantee you that you can create a successful budget in your financial life or change. It's not going to be something that happens very quick, but nonetheless, it works. And the free spreadsheet that we're going to use is linked in the description, and every single step is timestamped below. So creating our budget starts off with step one, get set up. Now before we begin creating our budget, we first need to get set up and gather all the different materials that we need in order to create the budget. And so you're going to need to do two things. The first thing is to gather all your statements from the past month. Gather anything that will show you exactly where you spent your money last month, like bank statements, credit card statements, and debt statements. I personally use my credit and debit card for every single purchase I make because it allows me to go back and see exactly where I spent my money. But all these various statements are going to be your guide to helping you create your budget. And the second thing we need to do is open the free spreadsheet. In the description of this video, there's a link to a free spreadsheet that looks like this. And this is where we're gonna input all of our expenses for the month. To make a copy, simply go to File and Make a Copy. And that is all you need to create your budget. And once you get set up, we can move on to step two, track your expenses. So now that we're all set up, the next thing we need to do to create our budget is to track and record all of our expenses and all of our purchases from the past month, like I did on my own spreadsheet with my own expenses right here. And this is something that's honestly gonna take time, but once you finish it, you're gonna have a complete picture of your own financial situation. So let's go to this blank spreadsheet and let me explain each of the different columns that you need to fill out. The first column is date, where you simply put the date you made the purchase, like August 1st or August 2nd. The second column is expense, where you record exactly what you purchased. For example, my phone bill, my dental insurance, and my rent. The third column is expense category, where you categorize the expense from the drop-down list. For example, my phone bill would be categorized as a monthly bill, my dental insurance would be categorized as health insurance, and my rent as rent. The fourth column is spending type. Now let's stop here for a second and let me explain this a little bit more in detail. I think that there are two types of spending. The first type are fixed expenses, which are expenses of the same amount each month, like rent or a car payment or debt. The second is variable expenses, which are expenses that are different amount each month, like groceries, gas, and eating out. And so back to the spreadsheet, you need to determine what type of spending the purchase is. Like my phone bill, health insurance, and rent are fixed expenses. And the fifth column is one slash need. And this is where you categorize whether the spending is a need or a want. And just to make this completely clear, a need is something that you can't live without, like rent, groceries, and internet. A want is something you can live without, like coffee, Netflix, and travel. And this is honestly a very subjective section where you have to analyze your own life and decide if it's a want or a need. But if I look at these three expenses, I would say they're all needs. The final column is amount, where you put exactly how much you spent on the item or service. And so you need to go through all of your statements and all of your spending and fill out this chart, which is something that's gonna take time. And one thing that you're gonna notice is that as you fill out things, these charts off to the side will populate, which we'll use later on. 
And when you finish, your spreadsheet should look like this. This is my spending from last month, and it gives me a detailed look into my finances that will allow me to create a successful, sustainable budget. And once you take the time to completely fill this out, we can move on to step three, subtract spending from income. Now, what determines a successful, sustainable budget? Well, to put it in the most simple terms, it's when you're spending less than you're making. Because when you're spending less than you're making, you don't take on debt, you can save more money, and you can achieve financial goals. And so in order to have a successful budget, all you need to do is subtract your spending from your income. So let's go back to that spreadsheet and see how sustainable my own budget is. Now, if you look at that sheet on the bottom, there's a tab that says budget breakdown. Open that sheet. And on the first table here, you need to put your after-tax monthly income. For me, last month I made about $2,500 in AdSense and $750 in sponsors, which is a total monthly income of $3,250. Then we'll look at the table off to the right here, which because I'm so nice, your income and your spending will automatically populate from previous sections. What will also populate is the amount remaining after spending. For me, I have $1,062.19 left over. And this is what you want. You want to be spending less than you're earning. You want this number to be positive. However, many people's budget will look like this, where they're spending more than they're earning, and the amount remaining will be a negative number. And if that is the case for you, then your budget is not sustainable, and we need to work a little bit further on your budget and move on to step four, analyze your expenses. Now, if you're spending more than you're making, you really need to analyze all of your spending and figure out why that is and how you can fix it. And because we took the time to track all of our expenses, we can easily just look at that to analyze how we can save more money and create a more sustainable budget. So in order to do that, we need to do three things and look at three things related to our budget. The first thing is our want and need spending. On the chart here is how much you're spending on wants and needs. If your wants spending is really high, you can simply filter out your wants by clicking on the tab up here and only checking once. And you can see exactly what you are spending your money on. And many people can easily save money if they cut out their wants, like eating out at restaurants, canceling subscription services, and not getting takeout coffee. And if you look at how much you're spending on wants and what your wants are, you can easily cut them out to lower your budget and save money. Now, the second thing that we need to look at is our variable expenses. Now, variable expenses are expenses that are harder to predict, but easier to change. In my own budget, 45.5% of my spending is on variable expenses. So just like before, if I click on the tab up here and only check variable expenses, I can see exactly what my expenses are, like gas, groceries, or eating out. And you should really analyze these expenses to see if they can either be lowered or completely cut out. And once you find something that you can save money on, click on the budget breakdown tab here at the bottom and record it on the variable expenses saving table. For example, I could drive less and save $50 a month or eat out less and save $50 a month or grocery shop more intentionally and save $75 a month. In next month, I can make these changes in my own life to lower these expenses and make my budget more sustainable. And the third and final thing that we need to look at is our fixed expenses. Now, unlike variable expenses, fixed expenses are easy to predict, but hard to change. In my own budget, 
54.5% of my spending is on fixed expenses. And just like with variable expenses, we're gonna filter these out and see if there's anything that could be lowered and record them on our savings chart on the budget breakdown. For example, I could cut subscription services and save $25 or compare car insurance plans and save $20. In next month, I can make these changes to lower my expenses and create a more sustainable budget. So you should really analyze all these expenses and write them on the chart of how much you can save on fixed expenses and variable expenses. And those are the three things that you should analyze to lower your expenses and create a more sustainable budget. And if we go back to the budget breakdown spreadsheet, off to the right here is a blue savings table. And the savings you found should automatically populate here and you'll see the new amount remaining, which hopefully is no longer negative. Now everybody's situation's different, but if you take the time to analyze all your different expenses and try to lower them, you can create a much more sustainable budget and have money left over after all your bills are paid. And once you do that, we can move on to step five, create saving goals. All right, once you create a sustainable budget, you can now use that extra money you have left over to create financial goals in your own life. Now, if we go back to that spreadsheet, on the bottom, there's a third tab called Savings Goals, and open that. Here, we see the final amount remaining after all of our bills are paid, and we can use that to create financial goals. Now, we all have different goals in life, but whatever your financial goals are, it's good to write them down. And here is a list of common financial goals people have. And once you find your own financial goals, go to this green table right here to record your own financial goals. For example, my goals are to complete my emergency fund and max out my Roth IRA. And I can determine what I need to do to achieve my goals. And so take the time to create your own financial goals and record them on the chart so you know exactly what you want to do. And I want to finish this video with step six, constantly revisit and revise. It's important to remember that there is no point when you're ever finished with budgeting because over time, your lifestyle is gonna change and your income is gonna change and so you have to change your budget according to that. But regardless of however you change over time, it's important to remember a successful sustainable budget is when you're spending less than you're making. Creating a budget is something that takes time. You can't just sit down for 10 minutes and be done with it, but it's something you have to put a lot of effort in in order to see results. But when you create a sustainable budget in your life, you're no longer living your financial life by chance and can use money as a tool to enrich your life. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments and let me know if there's any other how-to videos that you want me to make. And with that, muchas gracias. Que tenga un buen día. Video 145. No vemos chico.